Oh, what's that again? Uh, where are you guys traveling from? Um, we're from Iowa. From Iowa? Yeah. So you guys originally are coming from Iowa? Yeah, yeah. Okay, do you guys have any plants, produce? No. Um, no. What, no. What the heck did he ask? He asked if we had any produce. They're asking these weird questions like, do you have underwear? Do you <laughs> have not ask that. deodorant? It's like, uh, I was throwing out like. They asked if we had produce. So my day has officially been made. Actually, I think my whole month has been made. Ever since we've been out west, we have not seen a single one of those. Have not seen an Aldi. I have not seen an Aldi since we've been out west. This is the first Aldi. If you guys don't know what Aldi is, first of all, you're missing out. Okay, you're not living life to the fullest. Second of all, Aldi is like the best produce market, food market, probably in the world. They have everything for cheap. They have organic food for like the best prices you will ever find anywhere. And we were so sad to find out that there was any Aldi going out west. In the east, there's Aldi's everywhere. But out west, there's none. And most of the food we get is at Aldi or some of it. A lot of it. A lot of it. So what we're going to do is go in here and stockpile on stuff because I'm pretty sure that we won't find any other any more oldies from here on out. So let's go honey. Still something we gotta get used to, at least I gotta get used to, is this border patrol stuff, checkpoints. Yeah. I don't know, it's just checkpoint stuff I'm not really used to. From Iowa, you know, we're all about just being left alone and freedom <laughs> and all that. <laughs> Everybody just minds their own business. Yeah, right? in Iowa, everybody just minds their own business. So it's something us Midwesterners, Iowa people gotta get used to, I guess. But look, oh, there's even a dog up there. A drug dog. Yeah, a dog. See the dog. See the dog. We don't look suspicious. We ain't looking no suspicious. A couple of mobile hobos. <laughs> There's a dog in there. Just. It's a pit bull. We're scared of pits. Just go, go, go. <laughs> No sickles. It's chillier up here. Wowie, wowie, wowie. So this is what I consider more of California. We were in a town right outside of Arizona, considered California, but it didn't feel like California. It was like a crappy town, really. It smelled like crap, the whole town did. And it was just a terrible town. Anyway, the only good thing about that town is it had an Aldi. But now, we don't need that because we already got the things we need at Aldi. Now, baby, you come. You get away. We found this BLM land here. It's right off of this road, pretty close to the interstate. We park next to this pretty awesome big rock thingy majiggy here. Park next to, uh, in case it gets too windy, maybe it'll block us from some wind. It's a little more chilly up here. I guess we're gonna spend the whole day here, probably tomorrow I'll spend the whole day 
and uh, get a lot of work done and then continue further down towards San Diego. One baby sniffing around, sniffing all the dirt. Since we're up in elevation, here's a little perks. Once again, our air mattress is just about to pop. I'm gonna look at the, I have a chip bag here. I wanna see if the chip bag, woo, yup, yup. That air chip bag just wants to scream open. Man, everything's just gonna pop. This guy here, you open this, and earlier he made it sound like Let's see, I think the watermelon's about to explode. Uh, okay, this kombucha. Wouldn't it be a good idea to open it here, I don't know. Like he's really chubby. Okay, let's see. Let's see this. See this? Okay, right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. She got chubbier. She, yep, her face got chubbier. And, uh, she's muscly, but when she lays down, she's pretty chubby. When you lay down, your chubs come out. You're like daddy. You lay down your chubs pop out. <laughs> you gotta just keep standing to look good. Daddy looks normal right now, but when daddy sits, the chubs pops out of him. I step outside and this law enforcement just pops out of, out of nowhere. And he's like, uh, been camping here? I'm like, yeah. I know you're here. Um, I'll let other people know if they're around, but other people might not talk to you too. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. As far as like getting a ticket, you know, like, as long as you get a permit tomorrow, I'm good, okay? Okay. Any questions about that or no, no other questions. places to camp? Um, no, we're actually just gonna, we're planning to leave. Tomorrow. Tomorrow, actually. Mm -hmm. okay. And go to uh, San Diego, so. Yeah. Okay. Um, Watch out for those guys too. Which ones? The San Diego PA. Oh, really? They, okay. There's like San Diego, like they're really like anti living in the vehicles nowadays. Like, really? They, they have all these news articles about it. Okay. Because, like, I'll give you an example like Ocean Beach. Mm -hmm. Like, it's a really nice place. And, like, people are like, we paid like millions for these homes. How come, like, these people mm -hmm. are living out here for free? Yeah, Stuff I know. Like, like the, that's the thing. A lot of people that live this lifestyle, they take advantage of their surroundings. You know, so if people like us that live this could just be more respectful, you know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, you know, everyone's different. If one person's doing it wrong, everyone's is group, you know? Yeah. So, yeah. That's just how life is. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, man. Okay, hey, yeah. I appreciate it. Um, yeah. can, can we I'll stay here another night and then we'll be off in yeah, the morning? Okay. Fine. Appreciate it. Okay. Supposedly, if you're going to stay here, you need some kind of a permit. Lesson learned. Lesson learned. Don't believe everything you read on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> or look more further into it and make sure you have all the right details. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the baby is waiting to go potty. Tonight, we're having one of my favorite meals. Ta-da! I call it my chili soup. It's just a vegetable base, uh, usually celery, carrots, potatoes, peppers, onions, and then I top it with noodles, water, sauce, boil that until the noodles are soft, and then add in some spices, so, oh, and beans, and then usually I add like a chili spice to it, and I love it.
We have officially made it to San Diego. We are taking the truck back into the shop. We found some grinding sounds every time we apply the brake. So, what that means is that something is going on with the brake system now. We are at budget muffler and brake. I guess they uh, pride themselves in being affordable. And you know how we roll. We try to find the best prices on stuff. Um, but I don't know. A $40 inspection is kind of pricey, but we'll see. So we're just waiting. You, you notice the sign behind you? Yeah, I saw that. That's hilarious. <laughs> don't pee here. Uh, I understand. Yeah. But... 